you know, there's a few games out there that really give you a, a very cutesy artwork on the cover, but then the game inside the box doesn't seem to match that too much. It's a game that's almost abstract, it's very strategic, lots of tactics. I'm thinking, of course, of Sheer Panic, and I'm thinking of, hey, that's my fish. Well, there's a, there's a new kit on the block here, Craft Stack. Let me show you how it works. To set up the game, you'll take all the tokens of uh, all the players that are actually playing the game and you'll randomize them on the board. As you can see here, these spaces that are in black and these in red would not be used for a two-player game, so it would just be the hex in the inside. You use these for three players, and then these red ones that are empty right now would be for the fourth player, so the whole board. The game is uh, played quite simply. On your turn, you will take one of your crabs and you will move it on top of something else. The crabs, there are three kinds. There is the big and slow guy, who has a single star. This pawn is quite thicker than the others, than the little ones. And he's going to be able to move one space, but he can go on top of anyone. The two size guys will move two spaces. They can go on top of the little guys or two star crabs. And then the little guys will be very quick. They can move three spaces. In fact, have to move three spaces, I should say. And they can only go on top of the little guys. And so on your turn, let's say yellow will be playing first. They're going to move a single space. So I could take this one here. A one star, and he has to move one space, he's going to jump on top of this other one space in red. Boom. Then let's say uh, red is next, and red will take this three, and they will go one, two, three, and land on top of that one there. Then blue will play, and they will take this two, let's say, and go one, two, and land on that. You can pass through a bigger guy in, in the middle. So, for example, red. I know yellow would be next, but red could go from here over the big guy and land on a little guy. That's okay. The game ends very simply, in which if your player is unable to play because all their guys are covered up or they have no legal moves, then they are eliminated from the game. Their pieces stay on the board, but they take no more turns. And so in this case, a three-player game, once that happens to two people, the third player wins. That's it. There's one more very important rule which you need to be aware of, which is what they call the, uh, the one-wave rule. And that is if the crabs are ever all are separated into two groups. So let's say this guy moves here, and this guy ends up over here somewhere and then somehow this stack would move. Now I've created two distinct sections. So you can see there's a clean break here. And so the smaller group would be washed away by the wave and these are just gone. And so you can do tricky st stuff like moving this guy here, go one, two, three, this is gone. So very tricky stuff, very simple, but uh, as you can see, you have to be really careful with your tactics, and that's basically it. Once everybody's eliminated by one player, that player wins. So there you have a crab stack. Really simple, as you can see. Very straightforward. From the same company that gave us Battle Sheep. A very similar idea. You know, a cute-looking game, but basically an abstract with, with some good amount of depth in there. This one is a pretty cutthroat game. Uh, you have to be really careful because you will be eliminated, and that's not a big deal. Elimination in this game, once uh, someone finally goes down, the other two, the other one or two players are gonna, you know, go down very soon anyway. So you're not really sitting out for very long in this game. The tactics and strategy, as I said, are there, and they are interesting. I like the game a lot. And once you've played once already, you're thinking about your next game. Because you're thinking, oh wait, I gotta be careful about these edges, or oh, I, that's a good tactic if I do this, then that limits their move, and you start really noticing things after your first game, you're thinking, let's go again. And it's a, it's a common thing, I've rarely pulled this out when it doesn't get played twice, back to back, because people want to try it again. And that's, that's excellent, the game scales really well. I like it with two, three, four. It works very well. I love the board, the, the way the board is set up to, to accommodate for all those numbers of players. It's a quick game, as it says here on the cover, 20 minutes, and you could really go faster than that even. You could play this in 15. I, uh, I like it. I like it quite a bit. It's a game that I... The, the theme, obviously, is 
pretty pasted on, but you know what, it'll get somebody through the door, right? You can set this up on the table, you can go, hey look, you're playing a bunch of crabs and you're trying to stick together so the wave doesn't wash you away. And people go, all right, yeah, let's, let's try that. And that's good. But then they're sitting down to a game that is going to make them think. And that's always a good thing. Crab Stack, check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.